Hello everyone, Fizgus here. Welcome to another tutorial. In this one we will cover the AGM-65 Maverick. It's an IR rocket-propelled air-ground missile with fire and forget capabilities. There is also a laser-guided variant, for which I will make a dedicated tutorial. We will be focusing on the optical guided variants with this one. We'll go over the different ways of employing this weapon and bore sighting into the TGP. This tutorial is not intended to be an extensive explanation about this weapon and its associated systems, but I believe that if you follow this tutorial, you will be able to use this weapon effectively. Let's get into it. Set up inside the aircraft. With the Maverick loaded on the aircraft, go to air -to ground mode. On the SMS page, the first OSB shows the mode you're in, air -to ground. The following OSB allows you to configure the submodes Pre, Viz, and Bore. After that, you can check what's loaded in the aircraft with the inventory OSB. Next, we have the control page, which we will check a little later. The next OSB shows the currently selected weapon, and you can cycle to others if there are any loaded on the aircraft. After that, we have the Power Off, Power On OSB. Contrary to what I usually recommend with JDAMs or HORMs, don't power on the Maverick while you're on the ground, unless the target is relatively close from where you're departing. The Mavericks don't draw their power from the aircraft. They have their own battery, which has a lifespan of 60 minutes maximum, while the video is off. If the video is activated, this lifespan is cut in half to 30 minutes. Because of this, I recommend powering on the Maverick when you're getting close to the target area, keeping in mind that it will take 3 minutes for the missile to be ready for use. The next OSB lets you control the number of missiles launched per press of the weapon release button. This feature is limited to the D and G variants. Finally, we have the Step OSB. This allows you to select the station the next missile will be launched from. You can also do the same thing by pressing the OSBs next to the station numbers, or in the air you can use the nose wheel button on your stick. Now let's go over the control page. The OSBs on this page are connected with each other. This is where you enable Auto Power On feature for the Maverick. Press the OSB next to Auto Power to enable this feature. Then on the left hand side, you determine where exactly this automatic power on will occur. In this case, I know that my IP is tier point 4 and I'm approaching it coming from the west. So I will select west of and select steer point 4. This means that when I'm 2 nautical miles west of steer point 4, the Mavericks will automatically power on. Select your own power on location according to your flight plan, keeping in mind the direction you'll be approaching it from. Pre mode. This mode is used to have the Maverick Seeker head pointed at whatever the sensor point of interest, SP, is. This can either be a steer point, the radar cursor, etc. Go to air ground mode and bring up the weapon page on one of your MFDs. The video feed will only show if you have the master arm switch on arm or simulate. Putting it back to safe will cut the video feed. Also not having the weapon page up on one of the MFDs will cut the video feed. Use these options as a way to preserve the battery time of the missile. When the missile is powered on, the first OSB indicates that the missile is in operating mode. The next OSB allows you to cycle between the submodes as shown earlier. The next OSB allows you to zoom in and out. The next OSB shows the weapon selected and allows you to cycle between other aircraft weapons if any are loaded in the aircraft. Next we have the track polarity, which is basically white hot and black hot. Underneath we have the range queue the carrot and a number indicating the distance from wherever the missile seeker head is pointing at. 
As before, you can use the OSBs next to the station numbers to determine which station the next missile will be launched from. You can do the same thing by pressing the nose wheel steering button on your stick. Finally, we have the estimated time of flight of the missile to whatever target it's looking at. Make the weapon page sensor of interest SOY by pressing DMS aft. You can then slew the cursor around using your radar cursor keys. Zoom in and out as needed by using the FOV OSB or the pinky button on your stick. Once you've located a target, press TMS forward to lock it. Normally the Maverick's camera is only able to lock and track targets when it's inside the weapon's range. You can tell that the seeker head is tracking something by the crosshair being narrowed down and slightly twitching. Before launching the missile, make sure that the pointing cross, which is this plus sign that is not twitching, is not blinking. If it is blinking, you are outside of parameters. You can still launch the missile like this, but it will very likely miss the target. You want to have the pointing cross not blinking. That means you're inside the keyhole, which are the correct parameters to launch the weapon. Once you are, press and hold the weapon release button, the missile will be launched. In order to bore sight the Maverick onto the TGP, bring the TGP up on one of your MFDs. Look for a target with the TGP, and when you find one, put it on a point track. As you can see, when you reference the weapon page, there is a message saying handoff in progress and the station number. However, this process cannot be completed because the TGP and the missile seeker head are not aligned. The way to align them is by making the weapon page soy, moving the seeker head over to the target the TGP is already looking at, and pressing TMS forward. Once you're certain that both the TGP and the seeker head are looking at the same target, press the OSB labeled BSGT for bore sight. After bore sighting is done, and after you lock up a target, you will notice that a C will show up above the station number. This means that these two sensors are now correlated. It is very important to keep in mind that in order to switch targets after already locking one up, you will have to reject a target on the weapon page. Make it soy, press TMS aft on the TGP page, look for a new target, TMS forward, and the weapon page will look at that target if it can see it. It is also important to note that the bore sighting process is done on a station per station basis. Step to the next station, make the weapon page soy again, look for the target the TGP is looking at, TMS forward, or sight again. You can now use the TGP to launch missiles at targets, but still maintain the weapon page up on one of your MFDs to make sure that you are within parameters. Viz mode. When you select this mode, you will notice that on your HUD, attached to the flypath marker, you will have a TD box. This can be moved using the radar cursor keys. Once the TD box is near the area you wish to target, press TMS forward once. 
pick out your target and then press TMS forward once more to track it. After you're tracking the target, engage it as shown before. Bore mode. This mode will put an aiming cross up on the HUD, effectively using the nose of the aircraft as a way to direct the missile seeker head. Put the nose of the aircraft in the general area you wish to target, and then use the radar cursor keys to fine tune your targeting by referencing the weapon page and the circle that you now see on the HUD. Once you're happy with your targeting, engage it as before. And there we have it. The Maverick missile is a very useful weapon to use against moving targets and with the fire and forget capability of the optical guided versions, it allows you some standoff capability. However, keep in mind that its seeker head isn't very modern, the limitation with its battery lifetime, and its relatively small range. I hope this tutorial was helpful, thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next one.